So today in Rich Play Games, I'm going to do another reaction video. So this time, it's going to be on Nathan Brown. So I hadn't done one in so long. Well, actually, no commentary, whatever you want to call it. And I was going to do gameplay then video with this one. But I'm going to do a bunch of his videos. So I decided not to because it'll be pretty long. Yeah. <laughs> Because remember my Club Penguin stream, I was kind of debating which one I should go for. Um, obviously, some of it cut off because I was using the beta version of some streaming software. But yeah, just my internet in general. But the Nathan Brown video is here. So I promised Skitter Fox Jinx I was going to make this one. And you know what? I get my promise. And trust me, people need to know, Nathan Brown is basically the Chris Chan, the Chipmunk fandom. He wants a video game made for him, of course. Kind of like Chris Chan, how he wants a Sonic 2 game. And Nathan Brown loves Britney. Like, literally. Ah, Morty. But still, he loves Britney, and it's creepy. So, please watch this video. I mean, you gotta see this one. Okay. I'm just gonna... There. Heartbreak. The worst feeling in the world. Well... Everybody gets it. Yeah, okay. Everybody. Pretty me. Except if you're, you know... Um, I confess my love to the most beautiful girl. So, what's her name? I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. It was Britney. It was Britney from Alice Chipmunks. Yep, he loves to fuck Britney. Like he has videos. He made a song about Britney. Yeah, <laughs> this guy's so stupid. This makes me laugh. He thinks Britney is real. I swear, this guy thinks she's real. But this video comes to show that he fantasizes to the damn core. But yeah. And um, she rejected me. Yep, well, I can see why. With the songs you made about her and stuff. Love is love, according to me. Um, anybody can love anything or anyone. Bullshit. Not, okay. I call bullshit on that. Fucking bullshit. Okay, not anyone can love anyone. For example, if a guy likes a horse, that would be paid if no, that that would be bestiality. And you know if a guy likes a little girl, that would be pedophilia. So obviously that I call bullshit on that. I really do I call bullshit. So yeah, I'm just gonna play the rest. And it's not just the, the mutual feeling, it's the personality that counts, and I'm trying to be the most amazing guy that I can. Bullshit, you just make... Girls and, and yeah, by making songs about them. Um, yeah. And smashing guitars and stuff. Yeah, I, I can see why girls don't like you. And the afro you had on that one picture. Yeah. Well, you're a failure. <laughs> um, maybe it's the videos you make. Yeah, the fucking Britney videos you make. Is it, is it the fact that I work on computers alienating me from getting a girl? It's just really impossible these days. Well, well, he's not that attractive, so I can see why. And besides, Brittany's a fictional fucking character. She's not real. Well, it's very stupid. Uh, 
And for that, I just want to give up on finding a mate. Please do. Really? It's just because time. if you're going to make videos like this, no girl will like you. Unless somebody out there knows that I'm special and that I deserve a lot of love. <laughs> Love is a mutual feeling and also love. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is too good. I mean, everybody's on their phones, computers, and they're playing video games. There's no real communication anymore. Just, I swear, this is that's the what best. I mean. There's just no real communication. And I just want to love. He wants love. He wants love from Britney Senpai. And besides, I care about girls more than I care about myself. Um, okay. And there was one girl that I cared about the most. Her name was Britney. You need to see a therapist. If she sees this video, then... She's fictional. She's not real. And by the way, dude, you need therapy. Because Britney's not real. I'm sorry, but this is too good. I swear, this is too fucking good. <laughs> oh my god. Bye. Alright. So, yeah, that was fun. So, the next one I will watch is his song about Britney. Alright. Yes, I commented on these two. And trust me, you want to hear terrible music, then you're about to hear terrible music. And by the way, here's a fun fact. He sells these songs on fucking iTunes. I'm not kidding. Nathan Brown literally sells his crappy songs on iTunes or Google Play. I'll show you a screenshot right now. Yeah, he literally sells his shit on iTunes. Hey, you know, I would not give him a dollar. I'm sorry, but I wouldn't even give him a penny. But let's play this video, shall we? Hold on. Let's read the text. Brittany, here is a song for you. It's called My Love For You. Enjoy. Oh, God. He, he thinks Brittany is real. He's literally his senpai. This is a crap. Okay, the instruments are good, but the microphone sounds like crap. I swear he says like crap. You thought Bly say like shit when he sings about you know you should never invent a deviant art. You thought that was bad. This shit is worse. It's worse. I swear this shit is a lot worse. But yeah. What is he saying? Like, I don't know what he's fucking saying. It's so bad. I don't know what he's fucking saying. I kid you not, this... I'm gonna read the comments really quick too, because they're pretty funny. Oh, this one I make. And the comments are pretty funny. But yeah, he sings terrible. <laughs> you thought Bly was bad. And I thought Bly was bad at singing, damn. Don't even know what this guy is actually saying. But then I thought Bly was bad at singing, damn, man. Shit. <sighs> Sounds like a dying whale. <laughs> or, yeah. Or dying robot, whatever, but yeah.
What is he saying? What is what? I don't know what he's saying. He sings so bad. I don't know what he's saying. And better yeah, people think Blythe sings like shit. This is worse. This is like deep, deep when it comes to bad singing. His singing is so bad that it makes v Rebecca Black's music look good. Oh my god. Man. What am I doing with my life? I bet you Brett is probably looking at him like this. What the fuck am I doing with my life? With this pervert. But yeah. <laughs> okay, now, I'm, ah, now I know what he says. I love you. Also, he sounds like crap. And by the way, can you make a lyrics of this song? By the way, if you guys, um... If you guys can can you write down the lyrics for me because I don't know I did not know what he said it was so bad I didn't know what he said so please please if you know what he's saying please write down the lyrics or whatever By the way in this video comes to show he's in love with a fictional character Let's read the description for my little chapet love Brittany you always be by side no matter what you do. Kinda creepy. Okay. So now let's watch the other ones. So what's right here is other Britney song. Here we go. Okay, I know what it's saying this time. Right? Okay, it's mute for a bit. Okay, stop muting your microphone but yeah this guy's a little cow um oh but senpai he's bisking and singing about his fucking senpai I'm gonna read the description I love you, Brittany, and hope you like this song. Yeah, I highly doubt Brittany will like this song. I like how he gets dislikes. <laughs> By the way, I'm gonna save my comments on this still. Yep. Oh, well, actually, um, I actually commented. It. It's pretty funny. Yeah, even this one is still seems like shit. Okay, I know what he's saying. Oh no, I know what he's saying this time. Brittany, I love you so much. You don't know what to do. Okay, now I know what he's saying. Unlike the last one. And trust me, Brittany's fucking fictional. She's not real. She's a fucking chipmunk and you're hearing me, so that would be bestiality. Just saying. Oh, I'm on my car. Forget it. Okay. I just. Seriously, this guy fucking sim. Sing a song about his senpai. And want his senpai to notice him. Seriously. Have Nathan Brown in American Idol. Like, I would love to see this fucking pervert in the American Idol yeah they would all reject him oh yeah the Chipettes were and then oh yeah um in Alvin Ford the Chipettes 
Yeah, we're, we're in the... Oh yeah, they were in the American Idol, huh? Like judges. Oh yeah, the Chibets were judges in the American Idol. Oh yeah, in the fourth film. Oops, little spoilers, but okay. Oh, do you remember the, the long guy from the album Chimux 4 to the American Idol part? He sings like crap. That's him. Get it? <laughs> That'll be him, man. But yeah. Seriously, do you know the long the guy with the long hair from um, you know, um, Road Chip when you when at the American Idol when Alvin gets in the say you go to Hollywood, the guy that longs hair with long hair that sings that crap, that's fucking him singing about Britney. And then Britney's like, um, okay, no. And then Alvin gets the ticket. That'll be pretty funny, but yeah. Well, it's a fictional character. Really? I hope Brittany rejects your ass. Fictional character. This guy reminds me of someone else. I know he reminds me of Christian, but man, there's another guy. Oh yeah, the guy that likes um Amy Rose. Remember that one guy, um on that um Sonic website. Okay, so for those who watch Blockbuster Critic on YouTube, so okay, so remember um that one check that opened up like a a website. That they ex they express how much they want to fuck the Sonic characters, or Sonic Passion, yeah. So remember the guy on Sonic Passion that liked Amy Rose in his videos. This guy reminds me of the guy that liked Amy Rose, but instead of Amy Rose, he likes Britney. He's like the chipmunk version of him, but yeah. Really, dude. See, he's basically singing um, that he that he likes Britney, which is not real. Everyone, she's a fictional character. But yeah. Alright. Didn't, didn't his microphone like cut off for a bit? Okay. Yeah. Hope you like it, Brit. 
I bet you she hates it. You got, you want, you got my love? And I love you, Grace. And I hope she bought your dick off. No, just joking. Alright. But really, though, I mean it. Okay, let's go to my woman. That, that, that's like the other one, right? Yep. It's just a slideshow of fucking Britney. That's all it is, but... I'm just gonna read the description. Brittany, I love you, and I just... To show, here's a screenshot for you. Yes, this guy is obsessed with Brittany. I, re I know he did the ice bucket challenge when he says cold like eight times. But, yeah, maybe I'll, I'm, I might save that for another time. But, maybe I'll... Yeah, I'm gonna do this one. His video game idea. Okay, so I'm gonna start from the beginning. So you know what Chris Chan? Okay, so you know what Chris Chan wants a Sonic Two game, right? You know how he how Chris Chan bug that he bugged Miyamoto to make a Sonic Two game, and then Miyamoto said that he can't because you know, um, because Sonic. Because, you know, Sega owns Sonic the Hedgehog and all that. Well, this guy is like Christian. He wants someone to make a Alan the Chipmunks video game for him. Kind of like how Zero 3 be good wants a cartoon made for him, but better yet, he rips off other cartoons. And him, he wants an Alan the Chipmunks, so he's basically using another property without permission. Without Lost Bagasin's uh, permission. Is that how you say his name? The the guy that made all the chipmunks, but yeah. But I'm gonna read the description. Basically, in this video, it's really hard to hear what he's saying because he has his music blasting. If anyone wants to help, please share this video. If you want to contact me, here's my Skype and Facebook stuff. Yes. <coughs> I mean, they is on Skype, okay? Man, sorry about that. Man, I just coughed. Oh, shit. That's how happens if we talk and do all these edits, damn. But, yeah, let's watch the rest of this. And by the way, I've been talking for, a, like, a long time and try to redo it, so that's probably why I coughed a bit. But yeah, I know this one's not going to have much editing in this one, but again, I know this one's not going to be much editing, but I just want people to be aware of this guy, because this guy needs to be on Encyclopedia Dramatica, I mean, and also this guy really needs to be called out on his shit. Yep. Like for example, I cannot even hear him. Like he he t like he blasts his chipmunk music so loud, you can't even hear his idea. Now I'm not gonna play this whole video because it's basically him how like basically the music's blasting so it's really hard to hear him, so I might not show the whole video and it's pretty fucking boring too. But yeah. I swear this guy is like the Christian version of the ch okay, chipmunk version of Christian, because I mean, Nathan Brown has his own chipmunk ghost scene. Speaking of which, Nathan Brown also talks shit about other people's OCs. But yeah. Okay, so you know how he's playing Go Johnny Go Go? Nathan be Nathan go 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 Nathan go go Nathan be good. You make the chipmunk point v on the internet. You make songs about Britney how you want to date her. You're so fucking weird. 
and I hope Brittany bites your dick off. <laughs> oh my god, I just had to get that out of my system. But yeah. Okay, we'll see how Ross Bagason thinks about that. Um, call me out if I'm saying his name wrong, but yeah. But seriously, he does not own the rights to the album in the chipmunks. So is it, if it is his whole. Is his whole scene gonna be in the game and him and Brittany? Or we'll have to keep watching. Okay, it's digital. Oh, I'm just gonna. It's it's hard to hear him also it's kinda of boring, so I'm just gonna skip this one. It's just him Oh look at that face. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Look, look, look at that face. Look at that face, man. <laughs> look at that face. That's what the face. Hold on. I wanna take a screenshot of it. Alright, so you gotta take a screenshot of that that face. Hold up. I just had to. There we go. I took a little screenshot. I just had to. Alright. So, let's watch his rap vlog, and I guess that'll be it. It is him. And yeah, there, guys. What's up? This is Nathan. Um, I just decided. Okay, this video is basically him bitching about the L. Okay, so you know the Alan Chipmunks and Nickelodeon premiered on France, right? So basically, this is him complaining that it's not in his country yet. Except now it is, but still, this is back when they didn't release him was complaining. And also, back expensive. But yeah. But this will be the last one. Wait. It, oh, there it is. Okay. It's a rant video. Um, basically, I have two things to rant about. What? Um, the Chipmunks TV show, the new TV show that actually just came out a few months ago. It's airing in Australia, but not in the US, and I'm speaking on behalf of Melissa Really, nigga? You complaining about that? Smith and some other people that want to see the show in the US. And why did Nickelodeon, and, you know, acquire the rights for the show? Honestly, it's stupid. Well... I guess, well, I guess, I guess Nick Lone got the rights. Well, heck, they got the rights to, you know, the rabbit show, and, you know, and they also got, you know, um, some Yu-Gi-Oh, so, yeah. I mean, they should air it in the U.S., they should air it everywhere in the whole world, including um, everywhere like Iraq or some stuff like that. The second thing I'd, I'd like to rant about is the Gibson and Fender price hikes. The price hikes of Fender in USA, like USA made Fender, Fender guitars. Oh, this is, him, this is him complaining about prices of guitars. USA made Gibsons. Those guitars are getting more fucking expensive. I'm sorry for the swearing, but it gets more expensive every single year, even for the lower end models. I mean, the first low-end model that you would want to go for in a Fender guitar is the American Standard, but no, those things are supposed to be like, they're supposed to be like under $1,000, but no, they're, they're about as much as a bloody American Deluxe. Seriously, Fender and Gibson, get your shit together, honestly. You don't need to have big... And by the way, I thought he lived in Australia, because that, that's what he said um, on his Twitter. Prices just to have more customers. 
You gotta have the prices where they were intended to be. Okay. And on the first note of the of the silly Nickelodeon, you know, acquiring the Chipmunk show, then yeah, it's just stupid. It's um, pretty stupid that Nickelodeon acquired the right. Well, it's not stupid. Hey, your know, Nickelodeon got Yu-Gi-Oh, and they also got that Rabbit show. Yeah. And I believe Nick Lennon also had Lighthouse. And yeah. Eh, you know, it, it doesn't matter what it's on. I mean, if it's on Netflix, I probably wouldn't care. Or Nick Lennon. It really doesn't care what it's airing. It's to broadcast the show. Plus, every single episode is only 11 minutes long. That's just painful in my eyes. Because you need to have full songs that people can download and all a whole bunch of other things. Um, but the and Gibson, like what I you did just, with your video game idea yeah, video. It's just not good. Mm. Squire, on the other hand, though, they've stepped up their game and they're and they're bringing affordable Fender-like guitars for the most money. Plus, Epiphone are doing the same thing with their Gibson-style guitars. So Fender and Gibson take a leap out of Squire's book, like Squire and Epiphone's books, and learn to price your guitars cheaper, for fuck's sake. Guitarists, like... Um, okay. Yeah, it's just him complaining. But yeah, I might leave it here. Me. Just him bitching and moaning. From Jimi Hendrix and uh, Angus Young and all those other guitarists out there. That use your guitars. You gotta take a you gotta take a leap out of Squire's book, just so you can step up your quality. Your quality control is shit. I mean, I played a few Gibsons that have been hit and miss. So far, they've been miss lately. Miss, miss, miss. Except for this traditional that I played. But I don't really care because I have a nice Squire at home because it's a nice guitar, but. Still, if you want to have a decent guitar and you don't want to spend a lot of money, get a Squire and Epiphone. Because they're pretty cool. Oh, it's just him bitching about guitars. Oh, I, I'm just going to end the video here. It's, I know it's a long one. Wow, this is pretty long. Damn, dude. Oh, Alright, so that will be it for the Nathan Brown video. So, hope you liked this video. Uh, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And shout outs. So, go check out Skitter Fox Jinx. I think she changed her name to Lauren the Lauren the Rebel, and now she's back to Skitter Fox Jinx. Um, so check her out on YouTube. And you know, um, go check out Isla Raps. I guess she, you know she does um chipmunk videos as well. Um, but she's pretty awesome. The um, and you know, go check out Domingo. Um. I know I'm outside of YouTube. Yeah, you know, we we both like to make fun of monk pervs. We love making fun of monk pervs like Nathan or Basti, but yeah. And yeah, um, what else? Give a shout out to. Hmm, don't know. Um, shout out to Pinky Culture, and that'll be it for the shout outs and. Yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. Um, finally uploaded a new reaction video, which I haven't done in so long, or commentary, whatever you want to call it. But, yeah. So, that'll be it. Make sure you, again, I'm going to say it again. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Um, check out my Twitter or Facebook. And check out my Instagram and all social media, so my DA, whatever. You know, my social media pages and and have a wonderful day and peace out bitches.